Okay, this is exercise 6.3, backing up and restoring EFS certificates, which is part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. During this exercise, we're going to back up the EFS certificate, which we are going to later restore after you delete after we delete the certificate. The mindset behind this is that you have a standalone computer that failed and had to be rebuilt. On the computer, you had some files that were encrypted with EFS. Fortunately, you backed up the files from time to time to a removable drive. After you rebuilt the computer, you copied the files from the removable drive. Although you are using the same username and password that you used before, you cannot open the files because they are encrypted. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do unless you have an EFS certificate with the correct keys to decipher the documents. Therefore, it is important that you always have a backup of the EFS certificates in case the system needs to be released. The approximate time for this exercise is 10 minutes. <coughs> so the first thing we're going to do is uh, back up the EFS certificate. So I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go into server 1. Oops, server 2. Need server 1. And we are logged into server one as administrator Contoso. All right, so now what we're going to do is go into the command prompt admin. So we're going to right click. Command prompt admin. And here we're going to type in C E R T M G R space M S C. That's going to bring us up to the certificate manager. Minimize this, minimize this, enlarge this. All right, in the left pane, we're going to double click personal. Actually, I'm going to single click just to open it. And then click certificates. In the main page, we're going to right click the certificate that lists encrypting file system under intended purposes. Alright, from here we're just going <clears> to <throat> single left click our administrator certificate, go over to action, and all tasks, and export. And this is going to open up the welcome to certificate export wizard. And we'll go ahead and click on next. And we want to export private key exchange, we're going to click on yes. And then next. And then next here. And then we're going to click on password. We're going to use our password that we've been using. Confirm it. And then next. And here we're going to call this CERT.BAK. Next. If you're following along in your lab manual, this is where you would take your next screenshot. And this brings us to our next question, which is 11. What is the difference between this CER and the PFX format? when backing up digital certificates. Well, the CER format will contain only the public key, whereas the PFX will contain the public and private key. All right, from here, we're going to head, click on Finish, and then click on OK. Now, here we're going to go ahead and right-click the administrator certificate, 
click on delete and select yes. Now we're going to right click certificates, all tasks, and now we're going to do an import. And then next, And we're going to type in C colon slash C E R T dot B A K dot P F X. And then next, and the password that we used. <clears throat> and then next. then next, and then finish, and then OK. And if you're following along your lab manual, this would be your next print screen. We're going to go ahead and close our certificate manager, and we're going to close out of the command prompt. That is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. In the next exercise, we're going to be looking at 6.4, which is encrypting a volume with BitLocker.